My name is Tino Daishi Mkarati. I am a hydroponic farmer based in Harare, Zimbabwe. We are basically growing all our produce using a soilless method where we're growing using only water without any soil. Um, we grow different types of lettuces and herbs which are all for home and commercial use. We grow healthier crops, uh, they're cleaner crops, they're not based in the soil so it's actually always clean and fresh if you actually look at them. Um, you also don't require a lot of water to be able to grow this because we recycle all the water that we use. It is not a labor intensive. This can actually be all done by one person. You don't need a lot of people to do it. You also don't need a lot of land. So in a very small amount of space, you can grow a number of crops at different at the same time. There is no crop rotation that is required with hydroponics. Um, you simply just grow. Um, when you harvest, you clean your channels and then you can grow the same crop again. You don't have to rotate your crops throughout the season as you grow. Um, you also grow your crops in a faster amount of time. So with most of our crops, we start harvesting between four to six weeks. Whereas if you're growing in the soil, you need about eight weeks to start harvesting. We use natural nutrients to feed our plants, which we put in our water reservoir. Um, these are actually not expensive at all. Um, especially because everything that you put into the reservoir is used. We don't waste any water. So all the water that, um, all the nutrient water is recycled in the system. So it's continuously going in and out, going in and out without being wasted. And the nutrients get, and the plants get all the nutrients that they need at that specific time. It's not expensive because you're not wasting any. When you're putting your fertilizers in soil, it's not entirely going directly to the plant. Some is just washed off by the soil and the rain, but with hydroponics, we're making sure that we're using every single bit of the nutrients to feed the plants. Do not be intimidated, first of all. It is a new technology, new method of farming compared to what we have been taught by our grandmothers and our parents, but it is not complicated. Personally, I don't have an agricultural background, but through passion and determination, I have managed to learn and be able to understand how hydroponics work and actually invest into it. A lot of the youth don't have access to land. They are not homeowners, but with this, you can actually do it in a very small amount of space. You can do it in your backyard. You can do it on your rooftop. You can do it on your veranda. You don't need access to land to be able to grow hydroponically. Startup costs are quite high. Um, it's not cheap to start up. You do need to buy the material. You do need to set up a greenhouse to be able to start practicing hydroponics. But once you've put in your initial investment, that's it for life. You're set for life. Nothing will happen to these channels that we use. Um, you might need to refurbish your greenhouse after every five years, uh, but you would have managed to make the money from the, from the produce. Another con um, that we have with hydroponics is because our plants are based in water, they need a continuous supply of water, which is through energy. So if you are using, for example, electricity, you might face challenges if there's a power cut. Um, but we do recommend to be also um, eco-friendly to invest in solar. So we've got greenhouses that are working only on solar. So even here, um, it's fully run on solar. So we're not using any electricity. Um, but yes, that's one of the major cons. We actually don't use any pesticides when growing our produce. Because we are not using any soil, we've eliminated oil soil borne diseases in our plants. What we do get, especially during the hot months, is a case of powdery mildew at times, which we can control by just spraying um, a natural garlic and onion blend onto our plants. Uh, we can also use sulfur or milk. We don't get any um, concerns of worms or snails because we have eliminated soil. It is a project that can be done by anyone as long as you have the passion to do it. Um, you can't just plant your seeds and leave your system unattended. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. I would also say sometimes don't start too big because you're also learning. It's a new system. So when you tend to try to go with the 1000 system in the first trial, you, you might fail. When I say recycle, um, we're not keeping the water. What actually happens is you've got a main water source here. So if you actually look at the system that we have, we have our main water reservoir where we've got the water that we're using, uh, which is feeding the plants. So what happens is when we fill this water up, it goes up and it runs down and then it comes back. So it's not wasted in any way. So it, it goes up and then it runs back 
and this water will keep recycling within this table for about two to three days. The plants will be getting the water that they need. So if you see when we actually lift up our roots, they all have water. So they're actually feeding from the water, taking it in, and that actually then makes the water levels go down. For 100 plants, you can actually work with about 25 liters of water, which will last you for about three to four days. So when your plants are fairly younger, they don't take, so if you look, for example, these plants, they don't have a lot of roots yet. They're still very young, so they won't take in a lot of water. Whereas compared to the bigger plants, if you look at something like this, it's a bigger plant and the roots are bigger. So they're now taking in more water. So as your plants start getting bigger, you might need to refill your bucket a bit more frequently. There's a demand for this product right now. Um, we are not even able to supply the market at all. We only supply about three Bon Marchés and a few restaurants um, on our portfolio and we are not meeting the demand. I would definitely encourage young farmers to start to venture into hydroponics so that we can be able to sustain not just Harare but the entire of Zimbabwe. My mom actually started this hydroponics business. Um, she started it in 2017 and she has basically been mentoring me to be able to take over the business from her and that is what pushed me into hydroponics but I also fell in love with it um, from the time that she started the project in 2017. Temperatures are all over the world are rising or falling but with hydroponics when we're growing our crops we're growing in a controlled environment most of the time you're growing indoors so that helps um, in terms of you managing being able to manage your crop um, people that are growing in soil face a lot of um, issues where if it rains too much, all their plants die, or if there's too much sunlight, their plants die. We're also protecting the environment because we are not, there's no pollution from hydroponics. Everything that we have is all contained. The water is not running off in the soil, so we don't have any soil erosion. We're not digging in our lands, um, so we're not harming our soils as well. So both of us uh, are not agriculture specialists. We both trained in different aspects. She's uh, a finance person, that's her background. I am in the hospitality and tourism sector, that's uh, my background. But what we did was, uh, because of where we stay, we don't have enough land and she wanted to grow uh, vegetables for us, for her family. Um, and we started researching on what we could do with the little amount of land that we have. And that's how we came across, she came across hydroponics. Um, and it was just a matter of learning from what we could see on the internet. But a lot of the information that was available to us on the internet was from America and United Kingdom, which have different climates compared to Zimbabwe. So we basically had a trial and error phase for almost um, six months, trying to just figure out, you know, planting seeds, them failing, trying again and going back and forth until we managed to perfect the crop. You can do your lettuces, you can do your kitchen herbs, you can do spinach. Uh, we did do a research trial on medicinal marijuana that also worked. Uh, but yes, that's it, only your leafy greens. There is a different types of system for hydroponics where you can do tomatoes, cucumbers and peppers, uh, but we don't have that here.